Hi everyone, it's David from Automotive Press. You guys know that I love Japanese cars, especially those built in Japan. But of course, I love all cars, period. But I wanted to bring an interesting fact about Subaru because most of the manufacturers build cars in North America plus Japan, maybe Mexico as well. Uh, and very few companies only build in Japan or in Japan and the US. So for example, Mitsubishi right behind me do build cars only in Japan because they have no North American presence and they also don't have factory in Mexico that exports to North America. So all their cars are built in Japan. But what about Toyota? Well, Toyota builds cars in the US, Canada, Mexico, and Japan. So many different mixtures and blends of manufacturing. Honda also builds cars in Japan and US and elsewhere, but many of the cars that are sold in North America are built in the US, same for Acura. And Nissan Infinity is also a mixture of different uh, manufacturing sites, including US, Mexico and Japan. But did you guys know that Subaru only builds cars in US and Japan? And in fact, many of their cars are actually built in Japan because only a few models are built in the US, which is the Lafayette Indiana plant. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to show you which Subaru cars are built in the US and which ones are built in Japan. And you might be surprised how many of the Subaru cars are actually still built in Japan. For those who love Japanese built Japanese cars, this might mean something to you. So let's quickly go through and find out um, which cars are built in Japan. And you guys probably know by now that Subaru is 20% owned by Toyota, but it is an independent company. There's lots of collaboration between Subaru and Toyota. So I kind of think of Subaru as the best of both worlds. And what's so interesting about Subaru is that they have a very distinct character, very much focused on all-wheel drive or rally driving or off-roading. Um, and they have a lot more character, I think, and also a lot more interesting design compared to, let's say, Toyota cars, which tends to be more mainstream. So even though uh, it's 20% owned by Toyota, their design and concepts are very unique to Subaru. I've personally been to a Subaru factory in Japan, and I've been to their head office as well in Japan. And I really do think that they have one of the most unique attributes and characteristics because they have a boxer design for the engine. They have such a focus on rally racing and rally driving. And you know what, because mo many of the Subarus are built in Japan, they're built like tanks. So, sorry, there's lots of people here at the Vancouver Auto Show, but let's start from the other end here because it's so busy. And once again, you'll be surprised at how many cars are built in Japan by Subaru. So let's start with the Forester, which is obviously one of their most popular cars. This one is built in Japan as well, which might surprise you uh, because some of the models are built in the US, but this particular Forester, this is 2025, is built in Japan. One of the best SUVs around and certainly one of the most rugged and also one of the most reliable SUVs. And then we have the Impreza. I know a lot of people don't talk about the Impreza anymore, but I still think it's a cool vehicle because it's got kind of like a hatchback design. And you can take a look at the VIN number. The first letter is J. So this is also built in Japan. Um, they have a factory in Guma Prefecture, just north of Tokyo. Uh, and they have a multiple plants in there. So Impreza is built in Japan as well. We're gonna come back here a little bit. Oh, actually, let me go back here. This is a cross track, and this one is also built in Japan, as Jay, you can tell, but some cross tracks are built in US. So depending on which model you buy, sometimes it's a little bit different, but this one is built in Japan. So you can kind of tell, almost just running my fingers through and looking at the paint, I can almost tell there's a Japan built one. Not that there's anything wrong with the US built ones, but these Japanese built ones are really built like a tank. And behind me, we have two Soteras, uh, and the Soteras are actually built in Japan in collaboration with Toyota, I think you already know that, but they were built at the Motomachi plant, so it is actually built in Toyota because they really are same as BZ4X with a slightly different design front and back and a little bit inside, but for the most part, it's a BZ4X carbon copy of it anyways. Uh, and then we have the new uh, Forester E-Boxster hybrid. This one uses the new hybrid system, but it's also borrowed from Toyota system. So those are the meaningful collaboration with Toyota because they're sharing powertrain, they're sharing technology and manufacturing. And this Forester is also built in Japan. So again, you're going to be surprised how many of these vehicles are built in Japan. The BRZ or BRZ built in Japan as well, along with the GR86. It's a, almost a carbon copy. Although they handle a little bit different, even though they look the same, they're not 100% the same, about 95% the same, built in Japan as well. 
Uh, let's keep on going here. We have another cross track here. And this time, this one is built in the US. You can see by the VIN code, it's a four in the front. And this is built in the Lafayette, Indiana plant in the US. So this is a US belt. And if we go back here, we have a WRX, which is one of my favorite cars because it drives so well. It's rally inspired and J again. So built in Japan as well. And then we have the large three row SUV Subaru Ascent. I don't even have to look at the VIN code. This one is built in the US, in Indiana. It's not built in Japan at all, but this is a North American product for North American customers. So it's not sold in Japan. Uh, we have another Forester here. Let's take a look. I think this one might also be built in Japan. It is J, so this Subaru Forester Wilderness. Good, there's many different versions of Forester, also built in Japan. And then one more, take, let's take a look at one more car here, which is Outback. And Outback uh, is also built in a couple of different places, but this one is built in Indiana. So that's the US one. So as you can tell, give or take about 60, 65% of cars built in Japan for Subaru. But in terms of attention to details and the fact that they have a kind of unique character makes Subaru very interesting. I'm looking forward to talking more about this brand because it's got one of the most exciting character from my perspective anyway. So more to come, but for now, my hat's off to Subaru for making great cars and their manufacturing quality is also world-class. Anyways, if you enjoyed my video, give me a thumbs up, make some comments, and if you haven't done so yet, would you kindly subscribe as well. Until next video, I'm signing off for now. Thank you so much.